Hi there, you are watching a video of pressure vessels in industrial plants. Pressure vessels are tailored items. They are fabricated to meet the many process requirements. In order to achieve the different shapes and geometry required, most steel pressure vessels are welded fabricated. Depending on the quality of welds, the joint efficiency will adopt different values. Joint efficiency of welds can be defined as the reliability that can be obtained from them. This coefficient adopts values smaller than 1, and it can be said that the joint efficiency is a way of reducing the allowable stress of the material. Therefore, the joint efficiency depends on the level of non-destructive examination and the category and type of the weld used for joining two pieces of equipment. Various types of non-destructive tests are used to assess the quality of welded joints in the manufacturing of pressure vessels. The most used non-destructive examination method to determine the state of welded joints is radiographic test or RT. Even when technologically better methods such as TOFD as in time of flight diffraction are becoming increasingly used, in this section we will only mention RT, radiographic test, in order to ease the understanding of the concept of joint efficiency. There are three RT levels. First, we have the full RT, 100% of the welded joints will be radiographed. In this case, the joint efficiency ranges between 0.9 to 1. Secondly, spot RT, a percentage of the welded joints will be radiographed. Uh, in this case, the joint efficiency ranges from 0.8 to 0.9. And last but not least, we have no RT. None of the welded joints are radiographed. In this case, the joint efficiency ranges from 0.5 to 0.7. Full radiographic test. Paragraph UW11 in all subsections indicates the cases for which a full radiographic test must be applied. This means the entire length of the joint. Some of the cases are all joints of the shell and heads for pressure vessels in lethal service, all joints exceeding the minimum thickness specified in UCS 57, the procedures and requirements for full RT are described in UW51. Spot radiographic test. Section UW11B indicates the cases for which spot RT should be applied. In other words, RT in randomly selected points of the welded joint. The requirements are the following. The RT is performed randomly, thus the joint efficiency decreases. Pressure vessels not operating under special or critical service are subjected or, let's say, eligible um, to use this type of RT. Procedures and requirements of a spot RT are described in UW52. No radiographic test. Section UW11C indicates the cases for which the option of non-radiographic testing could be selected. Since RT is not applied, the joint efficiency is very low. This alternative is not recommended and not allowed by my most customers. Most customers require spot RT as a minimum.
As indicated earlier, the value of the joint efficiency depends on the service requirements, the category of the joint, the type of the joint and the level of non-destructive testing. Let's analyze step by step how to determine the value of the joint efficiency for the cylindrical shelf of vessel. In the first place, the service of the vessel needs to be analyzed to determine if full RT is required, lethal service, thickness requirements, etc. Secondly, if that's the case, the requirements of point UW11A must be applied. If there isn't a full RT requirement, the next thing that must be analyzed is whether the vessel will be fabricated with a shell or without a longitudinal weld, that is, a pipe. If indeed the shell of a vessel will be fabricated with a pipe, there will be no longitudinal weld, so category A will be efficiency 1. Therefore, only the joint efficiencies must be obtained for the rest of the joints depending on the level of radiography and the type of the joint chosen. For the cases in which the vessel shell is made out of plate, most cases, firstly, the level of X-ray to be applied in the equipment must be chosen and, depending on the type and category of the joint, the joint efficiency is obtained. Once the type of the joint to be used and the X-ray level to be applied have been determined, table UW12 of the code must be consulted, which according to the aforementioned parameters, provides the value of the joint efficiency for the calculation of the thickness, obviously for different components. Let's suppose that it is necessary to know the value of the joint efficiency of a type 1 joint but welding of both sides, to which we will perform spot radiographic test. In this, in this way, we work with the table with these values and get a joint efficiency of 0.85. When it is not specified or when it is not a code requirement to apply full RT, entire length of the weld, it is up to the designer to apply full or spot test. Let's look at the ND level, welded joint reliability and plate thickness relationship. If the ND level increases towards full RT, the reliability of the weld increases and therefore the thickness required decreases. On the other hand, if the ND level decreases towards spot RT, the reliability of the weld decreases and therefore the thickness required increases. In other words, for spot RT we will save money on NDEs and we will spend more money on plate due to thickness increase. For full RT we will spend more money in NDEs and save some money on plate due to thickness reduction. There is no rule or sound engineering practice for this. The decision will be based solely on the cost and materials availability.
there is no rule or sound engineering practice for this. The decision will be based solely on the cost and materials availability 